Mostly I teach and write about sentencing, uh, all different kinds of sentencing. That's going to encompass the death penalty, state sentencing, uh, the federal sentencing guidelines, um, juvenile sentencing. And I uh, advocate in that area as well uh, as part of St. Thomas's social justice mission. The link between advocacy, scholarship, and teaching is very important for me. And it's surprising which drives which at different times. Uh, for example, about a year and a half ago, I wrote a short little article um, about federal commutation and suggesting that there was this group of people who have been over-sentenced for crack crimes where Congress has changed the law, where the only way that they could get their sentence shortened was by a federal pardon or commutation part of the pardon power. And that there was an example of how President Obama could do this if we look back at the administration of President Ford, that he shortened draft evader sentences in a, in a systemic way, that he took a big group and established a board outside of the Department of Justice and fixed the problem. Um, well, that's something that I talk about in my clemency clinic that we have here. And also, it turns out it got the attention of people in Washington. Last month I went to the White House and had a meeting with people to talk about actually implementing that idea. Now having seen how the administration actually is thinking about commutation issues, coming back and teaching my commutation clinic is going to be very different because I've got that real life perspective. The kind of scholarship that's worthwhile and the kind of advocacy that's worthwhile is the things that connect to real life. And that's where our teaching needs to connect as well. What we teach our students has to be part of, here's what you're going to be engaging with in the world. And that should be true of our scholarship and our advocacy as well. St. Thomas is a remarkable place. Uh, I came here from another law school where I taught for 10 years in 2010. And one of the things that I really love about St. Thomas is the engagement with students. Uh, the students are out in the hallways talking to each other. As a professor, you can't walk down the hall without having people stop you and want to talk about something. And not just anything. They want to talk about class. They want to talk about what job they want. They want to talk about what someone else said in class and whether it was right or wrong or what did I really think. The level of intellectual engagement here is remarkable. And also, for those people who want this to be a part of their learning, the level of spiritual engagement. Uh, I've never seen another school like it where everything is voluntary. No one's forced to go to mass or engage in a talk about their faith. But the students who do, it fits in with everything else. And that is a real gift uh, to me, to the students, to the institution. If I was talking to an employer about what our students are like, why do we reflect on more than anything? It's the way that I count on them that I find them to be competent, capable, and imaginative. Uh, if I am doing something, even the most important things that I do in terms of advocacy, I include my students in it. And I include them in a very active role. I have them write part of the brief. I have them prepare the materials we're going to go out and, uh, and hand out. If I am engaged in some kind of active advocacy, um, I have a, uh, right now a death penalty project that involves the trial of Jesus that we do uh, in other schools and churches. And we involve students. And not just in the background, they litigate it with us. Um, and that's a high level of trust. And what I've found is that they're able to step up and do it. And I can count on them. And more than anything, I think that's what employers right now want. And they can look for that here. There is uh, no better place in terms of geographic location to put a school. <laughs> um, you know, there's a, a lot of great schools out there, but many of them aren't near where things are happening. You can't walk out and step into the street and be in the middle of the city and still have it be accessible the way that this place is. That St. Thomas is a national school, but it's also very much integrated into this community, in large part because of the mentor program, because of the engagement with the larger community. They come in and we go out there as well. And that back and forth is something that you do not find every place. Mm -hmm.